Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Claire for the people that haven't been here before and I am mummy to three little humans. I've got two boys and a little girl. Riley who's eight, Chester who is five and Esme who is four. Um, so today I thought I would film just a little makeup review video for you. I was very lucky and I have been sent out the new Dior, so if you see it the sun's quite bright, your forever undercover 24 hour coverage foundation so I have got it in the shade 15 but these are all the shades that it comes in so it's quite a, quite a big selection there um, and yeah it was actually glamour beauty club that sent me this I'm very excited to try it got just a little little bottle here so what I thought I would do was do a quick application just on one half of my face just so that we can have a little comparison. I've already primed my face and I've already done my eyebrows. Um, just I don't like going out with no eyebrows on. So I'm just going to apply I've got my damp beauty blender. So what I'm going to do is a really handy little bottle. So I'm going to give it a shake. I've never tried any makeup from Dior before so I'm very excited to give it a try. I'm just going to pop some on my hand from the bottle. It's just like a little paddle. I'm hoping that then. For a free sample, it's actually quite a lot in there. I'm very impressed. So I've popped it just on my hand for now. I'm just going to do one half of my face. Um, and we will see the results my little mirror it's a little bit that's too close so I'll pop it on my hard so it's going on very nicely with my damp beauty bender now this is full coverage so I don't know if it's going to be a bit heavy a bit thick it wasn't watery when I took it out of the um bottle so that's always nice so it's a nice consistency i don't like foundations that are too watery because i think it just, just soaks in you end up using quite a lot i find if you've got a foundation that's too watery so pop a little bit more on the bottle So this is where this half of the face is not done. This half of the face is done. It has got very good coverage, but um, it is a little bit darker than what I would normally go for. I obviously normally I do go for like a beige. So these colours are obviously a little bit. Um, obviously all foundation colours are different, aren't they? You can get the same colour and it'll be bloody different. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do this side of my face. I'm going to finish my makeup. So I can let you know how all the rest of my makeup goes on on top of this foundation, all my concealers. Um, and then I will do a little review at the end of the day to show how well it's actually stayed on for the rest of the day.
I've come into my little boy's bedrooms because it's just a little bit more better natural light. So just the rest of the makeup done. Um, the concealer all went on really, really nicely on top of the foundation. Didn't just sort of sit there, blended in really nicely. Um, it doesn't feel too heavy on my face at the moment, but I have only just put it on, so we will see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I am quite happy with it. It is a little bit darker, but that's obviously my fault. That's not Dior's fault. I would go for a lighter shade um, if I was to buy it. But so far, I'm happy with it. It's given me really good coverage. I've had a couple of spots done here, which um, it seems to have covered up pretty well. So I'm really pleased with that. Um, but I will film again at the end of the day and we will see how well it's lasted, if it's lasted really well um, and stayed put. Good evening. So I've come to the end of the day after wearing the new um, Dior undercover foundation. I do look orange. That is because I put, I did choose the wrong colour as I said earlier in the video. But I just feel like it's not light enough like it feels quite heavy to wear which just isn't my thing oh i'm getting some good light um which i don't like that for day to day it's different I, th I think it would be a really good foundation if you were going out for the evening and you wanted a really really thick good base um for your makeup if you were going but for day to day use i would say it's just a little bit too thick i feel my my skin isn't breathing at the minute which obviously is no good for anybody um, I usually use the Essence Camouflage and I use the foundation and the concealer as well um, and it's not steered me away from that. That's really easy to wear, to wear day to day. I couldn't wear this day to day. It's just a bit... I only had a little bottle too as obviously it was only a tester so for it to feel quite thick when I haven't actually put too much on it's it's a no from me, it's not going to steer me away from my usual foundation, however other people might really enjoy it, so don't let it obviously put you off, everybody is different. So that is all for my review today on the Dior Undercover Foundation, um, but I hope you liked the review and I hope it has possibly helped you in some way. Um, if you did like it, give it a thumbs up my channel, hit the subscribe button because I would love to have you around. Bye!